So how we done today guys? I got this package. I uh, won a drawing off of a, or a giveaway from uh, Glasgow Montana Recycling and uh, Adam over there sent this out. Had it cut open this first time looking at and seeing what we got here. Oh heck, Adam! I didn't realize I was getting bit set and a gift card here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, if you guys haven't seen him, any of his videos, you should uh, check him out. I'll put the uh, I'll put the uh, his link down at the bottom here. Just hit show more. But he makes some pretty cool videos, some teardowns. Uh, he's got a good head on his shoulders. Owns a real nice piece of property. Look at that. Uh, I tell you what, that's a pretty nice bit set. Everything nice and small. Hex heads. Yeah, it looks, plus it's got some of the ones... Yeah, I don't have these guys at all. That's nice. Let me see. And yeah, kind of hard to see it out of the light. Sorry about that. That guy drove me crazy. I can't remember what it was on. But it had these screws right here. And it had like a hundred of them. And I don't know. I can't remember what I did with it. Nice little set of tweezers. That's neat, guys. That's really neat. Adam, Adam, thank you very much, buddy. I really appreciate it. And guys, really go over and check out his channel. Like I said, uh, it's uh, not. It's a fairly new channel, and I may have, I put him on the uh, the videos I watch, but. Uh, this will be the second time I'm saying it. Go check it out. Buddy, I re really appreciate this. I really do. I'm going to use this to uh, order some more books. So I can uh, learn. So speaking of learning, guys. Um, oh, wait. I got the letter, too. See if I can read it. Hello, East Cycle Nation, aka Mike. <clears throat> Congrats on winning my 100 subscriber giveaway. Couldn't have gone to a nicer guy. Sorry it took so long to get this out to you, but sometimes work life keeps me busy. Thanks for all the support and comments you give to my channel. It is appreciated. I really enjoy your channel as well. Lots of great content. Thanks again, Adam also known as Glasgow Montana Recycling. <clears throat> and Adam, you're a great guy, buddy. Um, thank you very much. Now, speaking of learning, so you guys knew I had these uh, servers here. Started out with 14. I'm down to uh, two. But uh, I wanted to show you, basically, I uh, wanted to do a teardown for you. So, uh, when I'm, when I have a whole bunch of stuff that's the same thing, what I like to do is I like to figure out in the beginning, you know, what tools am I going to use? You know, and thankfully, these servers, it comes down to just this right here. I, um, oh, oh yeah, this guy too. And a set of cutters. Of course, cutters are a given, you know. You gotta have your cutters. These were free from Sears. <clears throat> there goes the phone again. Why is the phone always ringing during my videos? Okay, so, uh, let me give this a uh, pause real quick. Okay, sorry about that. So, anyway, when I have something that I'm gonna do a whole bunch of, I like to uh, 
take one, run through it, and then uh, see which tools I'm going to need. And then I'll clear the rest of my tools out of the way and uh, just have those sitting there. And what I like to do, and you'll notice that E-Waste Ben does this a lot, he, uh, he'll get in there and see how fast he can go. Now, that brings me to the next thing. Oh, by the way, there were two power supplies sitting over here, but they were 13 pounds a piece. So I went ahead and took those out, left them in the garage. Um, but uh, like I said, you'll see E-Waste Ben do this a lot. What it is, you know, guys, when you're working for yourself, always try and remember this. A couple nice gold cards there. Um, always work harder for yourself than you do for anyone else. Now, I don't believe you should ever work easy for anyone else. But what I'm saying is um, if you're going to work, you know, work your butt off. Get the job done. You know, I do these uh, videos quite slow or these teardowns quite slow when i am got the video going. But when the camera is not on... I normally try and run through these things pretty quick and the reason is is the faster that I can tear this apart the more money I'm making um, just something to keep in mind now I apologize for uh, how long it's taken to get these videos out I made that one set of like four or five videos and then I've been about two weeks without making any I've been trying to get uh, everything together for my business I finally uh, bought my domain name which is uh, well actually I'm not going to let that cat out of the bag yet but my website is almost complete just uh, tweaking it here and there and uh, I finally got my business cards ordered and um, flyers I'm designing them right now and tell you what you know one of the hardest things about this business guys is when I was trying to write the uh, the business plan which, by the way, I haven't gotten that complete yet either. Um, we don't have just one thing or ten things to do in electronics recycling, you know. And I think that's why most of us enjoy this so much, is there's a thousand different things to do. You know, when... Uh, when I was going through these servers, you know, the first couple with eight each piece that I take out of this thing, I go over and I do a search to see if there's any value to it. <clears throat> now, you know, not always, but sometimes that'll tie up an entire, you know, three, four hours just, uh, tearing one of these apart <clears throat> so no what was I saying there so what we do and <laughs> 256 these are the smallest RAM I have found out of uh, all these servers haven't found anything super big the largest I found is two gigs but, um, <clears throat> you know, you go through these things trying to figure out what your, what kind of value you can get out of them. Show you a little trick here. Anytime you can put your aluminum together, it's best to do that. Save yourself some room.
Okay, so this guy here, I'll show you a few of these. It's got some kind of, um, like, I don't know if that's ceramic or some type of, like, sheetrock or something. Used as, uh, like, a type of heat sink on the back of this. So, he's really difficult to get out. And, yeah, see, he just breaks off like that. I still find it funny that they had this on this guy, and this CPU looks exactly the same. And they don't use that sheetrock on it. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I know you guys like these teardown videos. <clears throat> So, uh, whenever I get something, I try try to make them for you, but um, the reason there's not so many of them is it just it takes uh, takes so much time, and then trying to figure out what I'm going to say to you guys. <laughs> so, <clears throat> hope you guys are. Uh, Having a good time. I, uh, the code, this weather just doesn't know what it's going to do. I think many of you have been affected by that, at least here in the States. Um, thought it was going to warm up, and then two days later, look outside, and the ground's covered with snow. So, I mean, what do you do? There's really nothing you can do. Let's see. Now, uh that's another thing I wanted to show you. I try and set up my teardowns that when I pick up a tool, I keep that tool in my hand for quite a bit. So let's run through this real quick. So these connector pieces this ain't bad I was getting 40 cents a pound for these you know I cut off the ends and stuff and the last time I went I got 20 cents a pound you know I just you know we're going back to the same what I was talking about before about the scrap yards you know they uh I don't understand the whole separate price for everybody and this that and the other it's uh i i guess it's just something i have to learn to live with <laughs> i'm holding it under the lamp like the camera's over here sorry about that guys <clears throat> but yeah then uh another thing last time i went is uh my aluminum here and you know the little metal pieces that run through these guys on computers well i always take those off and the last time i went in with my aluminum he gave me 20 cents a pound and uh for dirty aluminum and you know i've got to talk to him about that because 
he pays 40 cents a pound for it and that's the only reason I'm taking it to him and if he's going to turn around and just automatically assume it's dirty and only give me 20 then I'm going to take it to the scrapyard where I at least get 35 you know <coughs> let's see here hang on just a second guys So, uh, I got my prices here from where I went into the uh, scrapyard. You know what? I don't even know exactly which way the computer is going to bring this up. But we'll go over that in a few minutes. Um, let's see, what else was I. Green board. You know, I go in one day. And I get a dollar fifty a pound for green board. I go in another day, and I only get sixty five cents a pound. And I don't know about you guys. When when I take stuff into the scrapyard, I don't take lightweight stuff. You know, I green board. I took thirty seven point <clears throat> six five pounds, and I got twenty four dollars out of it. When I should have gotten, let's go ahead and add this up real quick. Ah, okay. 37 times 1.5, $55. <clears throat> you know, that's a difference. Or, uh, that's 24. That's a $31 difference. You know, if that happens too too many times, you're going to go broke. So, <clears throat> you know, I can't go in there um, acting like some dickhead or I'll have to, you know. <clears throat> the guy's kind of strange. You know, he's sitting in a position and he knows it. And... He uses that to his advantage. Oh, I hope that didn't jiggle you guys too much. And, I mean, like I said, he's basically the whole reason that I decided to uh, create this company because I want to make one that treats people fair. You know, if I'm going to give you, if I give this guy, you know, $2 a pound for something, then I should give him $2 a pound, then I should give him $2 a pound. You know, it shouldn't change back and forth. You know, yeah, I understand the whole, um, well, this guy brought in 10 pounds and that guy brought in 100. You know what, guys, I totally understand that. But, you know, if you're going to advertise a price, which they do, online and then uh, change it right in front of you and I guess my uh, biggest complaint about this is is when I take these loads in you know I'm taking 25 items at a time so when they hand it to you to approve it to cut you a check you know you're not you don't have the prices in front of you, so you're really not thinking about it too much. So, you know, I'm going to take it back, take this in with me, and I'm not going to demand money. You know, I signed it and said that it was okay. But I want to try and figure out if I'm going to be in business, if I'm going to do business with you, I shouldn't have to look over my shoulder every time we do business. You know, I shouldn't have to worry about um, trying to keep track of these numbers. If you're going to quote something online, that should be the price. Alright, so that's enough of my rant. Apologize. I, uh, but I did want to give you guys kind of insight of the things that you face in this business you know it's the exact same as uh the scrapping business you know it's been that been that way for years you know call a yard 
Let's say they'll give you uh, 250 a pound for copper, and then you show up, and they're, uh, they give you 205 a pound. Well, I just called you. Okay, who'd you speak to? Uh, John. Uh, well, John went home already, you know. What do you do? But, uh, yeah, I think we need to get, I don't know, not regulation, but I guess I should just uh, pay more attention to my loads, right? <clears throat> so, now what I've decided to do is I'm only going to take, you know, five, six, eight items in at a time and uh, go through them really good fine tooth comb before I leave you know I hate doing that I hate being that guy I've never been that guy but at the same time you know those numbers what did that cost me uh 30 on the one I mean that probably ran uh seven three seven at least like forty five forty six dollars that I should have been paid that it wasn't so let's see we gotta make this a uh, <clears throat> lighten the mood a little bit so e waste bin I love the street street scrapping videos you've been making I, uh, that camera you sent me, um, I gotta pull it back out and see, uh, cause I got a new computer now, so maybe the software will work better on it, but I would, uh, I'd fill it up with content and then go to upload it to the computer and out of like, you know, 15, 20 items, it would only read like I don't know six or seven of them so I couldn't figure out exactly what was going on there and I don't know why I'm doing this with this pull out the guns again let me show you something else guys a little trick I learned now this really doesn't fit this too well but oh no that was the one that fit <laughs> maybe I'll cut that out I look I look stupid enough in these videos without showing you something you guys don't need no more ammo So, there was a large, large auction that I missed out on. It was 641 desktop computers, 70 servers. There was 480 laptops, and then a whole bunch of other stuff, you know. It was 29 pallets, guys. <clears throat> And I think it went for about uh, something like eight thousand dollars. You know, I hate the fact that I was not able to get that load. You know, that would have set me up for uh, for everything I need to do. I've got uh, you know the wife and I. We've been talking. I've got to get. Uh, Got to get a better trailer, or a bigger trailer rather. The trailer itself is pretty nice, um, but yeah, I've got to get a bigger trailer. And then I'm also looking at getting a bigger truck. Of course, I don't know whether I kind of like ben, e waste Ben's van. I really think that's cool, but then again, I'm also looking at the idea of getting a. Uh, uh, either a step van truck with a lift or getting a 
just a, a bigger heavy heavier duty pickup that way because like I said I'm going to get a bigger trailer this video buddy we're worried about you I uh, hope everything's okay with you and your family bub so get this ass guy here oh huh don't you love that oh, let the mics go to screw loose See, this is what they mean you got to use the right tool. I mean, how stupid is it? I've got two tools over there right now that will pull this guy out of there quick. But because I've already struggled in front of you guys, my pride won't let me reach over there and get them. Ha! I had to beat it. guy should be ready to come up. And I'll tell you what, these things are pretty. Oh, I haven't even showed you this yet. Let me see here. These are nice. They're a real pain to get out. Look at these. They, uh, all they are are connector pieces. Oh, I did it again, didn't I? Guys, sorry about that. They're just gold fingered cards with nothing else on them. And, um, you know, this is something you can just throw in AP, but honestly, underneath it here is copper. A lot of copper, so you don't want that. So you still want to trim these off like you would regular cards. I mean, like I said, you don't have to, but then you're just burning up your assets for no reason. I, uh, I got some, uh, I was thinking about that the other day. I put some pins down in some, uh, AP at the end of last summer. And I said I wasn't going to do nothing with it until I made a video of cleaning waste. You know, I, I find it very important, you know, we got to take care of our wastes if we're going to make them. Uh, I'm not a tree hugger or anything like that, but, you know, I do like to fish. And I do think it's our responsibility to take care of our environment. So here's those pieces. So let me throw them off to the side. <clears throat> 